Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from Lesson 1 how the different parts of the nervous system, the central and peripheral nervous systems, coordinate and regulate all the communications and processes within our body. And how the nervous system helps us to adapt to the change in our environment to survive. In order for the functions of the nervous system to work, the nervous system works with the endocrine system to coordinate and direct the activity of the body's cells. The endocrine system provides a slower but longer-lasting coordination than the nervous system. Let's learn more about the functions of the endocrine system in today's lesson. Lesson 2. Endocrine System the nervous system controls and acts on everything you do through electrical impulses and neurotransmitters. And the effect is in short duration or in just seconds. While the endocrine system acts through chemical messengers called hormones. The effect of these hormones in our body may take in minutes, hours, or even weeks. The endocrine system is a series of glands that produce and secretes hormones that the body uses for a wide range of functions. The hormones released by the endocrine glands can influence the bodily functions such as respiration, metabolism, reproduction, movement, sensory perception, sexual development, and even growth. Hormones are produced by glands and sent into the bloodstream to the different tissues in our body. They send signals to those tissues to tell them what they are supposed to do. Let's learn about endocrine glands. A gland is an organ which produces and releases substances that perform a specific function in the body. There are two types of gland, endocrine glands and exocrine glands. The endocrine glands are ductless glands and release hormones directly into the bloodstream. While the exocrine glands secrete substances onto an epithelial surface by way of a duct. For this lesson, let's focus on endocrine glands. Here are the main hormone-producing glands of the endocrine system. Starting from the head, we have the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland are also known as the master gland and the pineal gland. At the neck area, we have the thyroid gland. At the back of the thyroid gland, we have the parathyroid glands. In the chest area, we have the thymus. Deep in the abdomen area, we have the pancreas and sitting on top of our kidneys, the adrenal glands. For the reproductive glands or gonads, for female gonads, we have ovaries. And for male gonads, we have testes or testicles. Let's discuss briefly the functions and hormones secreted by each endocrine gland. Hypothalamus the hypothalamus is a small region of the brain. It is located at the base of the brain near the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus links the nervous and endocrine systems by way of the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus is responsible for body temperature, hunger, moods, and the release of hormones from other glands, and also controls thirst, sleep, and sexual urge. Some of the most important hormones produced in the hypothalamus are the following. Corticotropin releasing hormone or CRH. CRH is involved in the body's response to both physical and emotional stress. CRH signals the pituitary gland to produce a hormone called adrenocorticropic hormone or ACTH. In return, ACTH triggers the production of cortisol, an important stress hormone. Thyrotropin-releasing hormone, or TRH. TRH production stimulates the pituitary gland to produce thyroid-stimulating hormone, or TSH. In return, 
TSH plays an important role in the function of many body parts such as the heart, gastrointestinal tract, and muscles. Gonadotropin Releasing Hormone or GNRH GNRH production causes the pituitary gland to produce important reproductive hormones such as follicle-stimulating hormone or FSH and luteinizing hormone or LH. Oxytocin This hormone controls many important behaviors and emotions such as sexual arousal, trust, recognition, and maternal behavior. It's also involved in some functions of the reproductive system, such as childbirth and lactation. Vasopressin, also called antidiuretic hormone or ADH. This hormone regulates water levels in the body. When vasopressin is released, it signals the kidneys to absorb water. Somatostatin Somatostatin works to stop pituitary gland from releasing certain hormones, including growth hormones and thyroid-stimulating hormones. This hormone is an inhibiting hormone, which regulates the function of other glands in the endocrine system. The pituitary gland the pituitary gland is a small pea-sized gland and referred to as the body's master gland because it controls the activity of most other hormone-secreting glands. For example, the pituitary gland produces prolactin, which acts on the breast to induce milk production. The pituitary gland also secretes hormones that act on the adrenal glands, thyroid gland, ovaries and testes, which in turn produce other hormones. Through secretion of its hormones, the pituitary gland controls metabolism, growth, sexual maturation or development, reproduction, blood pressure, and many other vital physical functions and processes. The pituitary gland makes many hormones such as growth hormone, which stimulates the growth of bone and other body tissues and plays a role in the body's handling of nutrients and minerals. Prolactin, which activates milk production in women who are breastfeeding. Thyrotropin, which stimulates the thyroid gland to make thyroid hormones. Corticotropin, which stimulates the adrenal gland to make certain hormones. Stored by the hypothalamus in the pituitary gland, antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin. This hormone helps control body water balance through its effect on the kidneys. Another stored hormone by the hypothalamus in the pituitary gland, oxytocin, which triggers the contractions of the uterus that happen during labor. The pituitary also secretes endorphins hormones that act on the nervous system and reduce feelings of pain. The pituitary also secretes luteinizing hormone, or LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, which are called gonadotropins because they stimulate the testes or ovaries to produce sex hormones. These hormones also control ovulation and menstrual cycle in women. Pineal gland the pineal gland, or also called the pineal body, is located in the middle of the brain. It secretes the hormone melatonin, a hormone that may help regulate when you sleep at night and when you wake up in the morning. Thyroid gland The thyroid gland is in the front part of the lower neck. It is shaped like a bow tie or butterfly. The thyroid gland uses iodine from food to make two thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine or T3 and thyroxine or T4. The thyroid hormones affect every cell and all the organs of the body. They regulate the rate at which calories are burned, affecting weight loss or weight gain. Can slow down or speed up the heartbeat. Can raise or lower body temperature 
influence the rate at which food moves through the digestive tract, control the way muscles contract, and even control the rate at which dying cells are replaced. Calcitonin is a hormone that is produced in humans by the C cells of the thyroid gland. Calcitonin is involved in helping to regulate levels of calcium and phosphate in the blood, opposing the action of parathyroid hormone. This means that it acts to reduce calcium levels in the blood. Parathyroids Attached to the thyroid gland are four tiny glands that work together called the parathyroids. They release parathyroid hormone which controls the level of calcium in the blood with the help of calcitonin which the thyroid makes. Thymus the thymus is part of the lymphatic system and also part of the endocrine system. The thymus is located just below the breastbone. It is relatively large in infants and grows until puberty. In a scientific study in adulthood, it starts to slowly shrink and become replaced by fat. The thymus gland produces several hormones, including thymopoietin and thymolin, hormones that assist in the process where T-cells differentiate into different types. Thymosin accentuates the immune response as well as stimulating pituitary hormones such as growth hormone. Thymic humoral factor acts similarly to thymosin but increases the immune response to viruses in particular. Pancreas the pancreas plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel for the body's cells. The pancreas has two main functions, an exocrine function that helps in digestion and an endocrine function that regulates blood sugar. The most important hormone that the pancreas produces is insulin. Insulin lowers glucose levels in the bloodstream and promotes the storage of glucose in fat, muscles, liver, and other body tissues. Another hormone that controls blood sugar is the glucagon. Its role in the body is to prevent the blood glucose levels dropping too low. To do this, it stimulates the conversion of stored glycogen in the liver to glucose, which can be released into the bloodstream. Adrenal glands these two triangular adrenal glands sit on top of each kidney. The adrenal glands have two parts, each of which makes a set of hormones and has a different function. The outer part is the adrenal cortex. It makes hormones called corticosteroids that help to control salt and water balance in the body, the body's response to stress, metabolism, the immune system, and sexual development and function. The inner part is the adrenal medulla. It makes hormones called adrenaline or epinephrine that increases blood pressure and heart rate when the body is under stress. Reproductive glands or gonads. The male gonads is called testes and ovaries for female gonads. The testes or testicles are a pair of sperm-producing organs that maintain the health of the male reproductive system. The testes secrete testosterone, which is necessary for proper physical development in boys, in adulthood maintains libido, muscle strength, and bone density. The female gonads is called the ovaries. They make egg cells and secrete the female hormones estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is involved when a girl starts puberty. During puberty, a girl will have breast growth, start to accumulate body fat around the hips and thighs, and have a growth spurt. Estrogen and progesterone are also involved in the regulation of a girl's menstrual cycle. These hormones also play a role in pregnancy.
You've learned from our lesson that hormones are produced by glands and sent into the bloodstream to the different tissues in our body and send signals to those tissues to tell them what they are supposed to do. Remember, when the glands do not produce the right amount of hormones, problems or diseases may develop that can affect many aspects of life. Such diseases like diabetes because of low or high level of blood sugar, acromegaly, a disorder that results from excess growth hormone, dwarfism and gigantism because of low or excessive amount of growth hormones, or hyperthyroidism that occurs when the thyroid gland produces too much thyroxine. Good thing we have special doctors called endocrinologists who can help treat the people with hormone problems. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.